An important part of fishing is matching the right kind of weights to the style of fishing being done. In this week's fishing tips, Ray and Mandy walk through what kind of weights to use when out on the lake. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lakeland Currents Tips Fishing Tips Program. Uh, tonight, we'd like to talk a little bit about weights, the kinds of weights that you use when you're fishing, and how you determine uh, what size weight and how much weight you actually use for the bait you're fishing with. Uh, I've witnessed people out fishing walleyes with weights that it would almost bring a horse down. And it's very important to use uh, the lightest possible weight you can get by with. And there are lots of different styles. And Mandy's going to talk a little bit about the weights that she uses when bass fishing. But I'd like to just show you that, you know, they come, uh, if, if you're walleye fishing, the standard thing that you hear about is the Lindy rig weight. And that's what that is right there. That's a Lindy rig uh, particular weight. And uh, they come in styles like uh, eggshells, weights, and, and this is actually called an egg weight. And it's still got a hole in each end and you can run the line right through it. I think you can see through that. And there's also uh, weights that go in line. So you can put the line on the bottom or the line on the top. And I use these when I'm fishing crappies in 40 to 50 feet of water. That extra weight helps you feel that little bit of bite. Uh, Mandy's going to talk a little bit about the kinds of weights that she uses when she's bass fishing. We're bass fishing. You're talking weights, more than likely, we're talking bullet weights. So if you can see these, these are actually both the same exact weight. These are 3 16th ounce weights. This smaller profile one is tungsten. Tungsten's a non-lead product and it's heavier. It's better for the environment, but it also has a much smaller profile than this. You can run these bullet weights two-way. You can run them free, which means they're non-pegged. So you're gonna be running them above a three to a five aught hook in some kind of a plastic trailer on it, or you can peg them so that the weight stays tight to the hook. Um, other major bass uh, weights that would be used comes into play obviously with drop shot. Anybody hasn't drop shot, Google it, get out and do it. Um, there again, these, these little weights, they hang at the bottom of the string with your, your bait above it. They come to in you know, multiple different kinds of sizes and, and shapes, but those are your predominant weights when it comes to bass fishing. For Lakeland News, I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the bass and biologist. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.